Your zither needs tuning. Is that a euphemism? Hi, welcome to the Silver Spleen. My name is Lamont Cranston, and this is my review of Shadow. Zhang Yimou is one of China's best-known directors. In a career spanning four decades, he's created some of the best-known and most respected Chinese-language films in cinema history. He also directed The Great Wall. But that was then, and this is now. If you don't believe me, ask all the reviewers who effusively blather on about how Shadow is a return to form for the director, who so egregiously let them down by making a movie that even plebs could understand. My biggest problem with art movies, as many of you probably already know, isn't the movies themselves. It's the way people who like art movies talk about art movies. There's a very specific, recurring sort of breathless verbiage that gets trotted out or recycled from Cheese and Wine magazines. I don't know. And very predictably, it's all there when you read about Shadow. There are all the usual words and phrases that I actually keep a checklist of, and I'm never disappointed. Gorgeous? Check. Sumptuous. There it is. Stunning? Of course. Visually ravishing? A perennial. Which is kind of funny, because do you know what being visually ravished actually entails? I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you! Uh, but never mind. Read the first two paragraphs of the Variety Review. The link is down there under, you know, BOFA. Go ahead, I'll wait. Now it's time for ice cream. A Chinese zither sounds a ferocious, twanging note that warps and buckles in its sustain. Um, that's not how sustain actually works. And if twanging is ferocious, then country music is death metal. <laughs> Spare me such dumbness, along with words like breathtaking or insouciant, voracious elegance. Voracious elegance describes a supermodel halfway between a just-finished photo shoot that she starved herself for and the buffet in the next room. There's a lot more of this fawning supplication scattered all over the reviews for this film. Wave a black light over a review and they just, they pop up like fireworks. Maybe all these reviews are so breathless because they're just trying to sprint right past the Great Wall as if it never existed. Good heavens, populism! Bring me an opaque narrative and a room temperature Merlot. Stat. These are people who could pass a lie detector test while denying that they sh Per that variety review, Shadow is, quote, based on the fabled Three Kingdoms saga of Chinese legend. That sentence is more top-heavy than Amy Yip. And you know what else is based on Three Kingdoms? Video games. Deal with it. You'll also have to deal with the fact that, like so many other movies based on classical Chinese stories, Shadow doesn't really tell you a story. It shows you a story that you're somehow expected to be familiar with. If you're not, it may seem distant, subtle, maybe even inscrutable? Because the only thing the art crowd loves more than stinky French cheese is a whiff of rationalized Orientalism that calls to mind their postdoc studying proto-feminist Mongolian oral traditions. Speaking of women, one thing I did sincerely like about Shadow is that the female characters have depth, presence, and agency. Betty Sun Li and Guan Xiao Tong are both very entertaining and engaging, and they were actual real characters. I mean, they had three dimensions and everything. Frankly, I wish that their roles had been larger. I might have enjoyed the movie more. And while, you know, the feminine side is given prominence in the story's main conflict, even that plot twist is kind of obvious, given certain conditions. When Sun Li's character points out a better way to approach a specific problem, it seemed more than slightly obvious to me, or at least really not new at all. But that's because I'm an uncultured heathen. Now, in my admittedly limited experience, a lot of people who watch Zhang Yimou films wouldn't be caught dead watching martial arts movies or, God forbid, Jackie Chan movies. I'm not saying there isn't crossover, so please spare me those comments. I'm saying that a lot of people who like art films, even Chinese art films, look down their noses at Hong Kong movies or martial arts movies or, you know, things like that. 
Which is as good a reason as any to explain why they think shadow breaks any kind of new ground. I'll give you an example. Imagine a martial arts movie where bamboo scuba gear is used in ancient China, or where people have metal umbrellas that they sit on upside down and are slung down a street by a bamboo slingshot. And those same umbrellas, once you stand back up, are also weapons, because the one-handed fully automatic crossbows that you've been shooting at all the way down the street, you know, might have run out of bolts. Now, for me, that kind of anachronistic weirdness sounds an awful lot like 1980s era Yun Wo Ping, you know, like Miracle Fighters or Shao drunkard. But somehow, because that appears in a Zhang Yimou film, that's different. It's art. Really? Why? It was so cheesy it made me laugh out loud in the cinema, but somehow I'm the bad guy for doing it? What makes bamboo scuba gear and umbrella go-karts art? The cinematography? The director's name? The director of The Great Wall, let me remind you. The director who said of Shadow that because China has such a, quote, long historical past, as opposed to the rest of us who apparently just showed up last week, that he wouldn't create baseless stories. So apparently scuba diving has been a part of China since at least the Three Kingdoms era. So too have metal umbrellas that serve as weapons, and if you turn them upside down, as a means of getting down a hilly street quickly. What's the Mandarin for toboggan of death? But wasn't I talking about what I liked about Shadow? I do admit, it looks very nice. But shouldn't that credit go to the cinematographer? Zhao Xiaoding did big budget costume epics like House of Flying Daggers and Curse of the Golden Flower. Of course, he also did An Empress and the Warriors, The Treasure Hunter, Kung Fu Dunk, and The Great Wall. But let's move on, shall we? Shadow is a very nice looking film. I sort of appreciate that Zhang Yimou, who is known for his use of very vivid colors, decides to go monochrome. It's a nice change, but, you know, on the other hand, it also allows certain people to carry on about how it's evocative of Chinese ink paintings and gray and black. Well, it's evocative of newspapers, too, then, if you think about it. Besides, I grew up in New England. Our most abundant natural resources are fog and rain. Ooh, a thousand shades of gray. It sounds like February in Rhode Island. Get over yourself. Art. It's three quarters of fart. Obviously, I didn't much care for this movie, but actually the Chinese person I went with, who also knows a lot about movies, didn't care for it either. He's just smart enough not to put his opinion on the internet. If you like these kinds of movies, go ahead and enjoy it. Don't listen to me. Don't let my opinion influence you, for God's sake. I'm just pointing out the things that bug me about movies like this. If you get a chance to see this, obviously you should do it on a really big screen. Not gonna argue. I would stare at this movie if I had to. I'd just leave the subtitles off so I wouldn't be bothered with that goofy story. Story. If you enjoy movies like this, go see them. And enjoy yourself. You'll have more fun than I did. And as long as we're talking about enjoying yourself, let's face it, if you really want to have fun, it takes money. Now, on account of that, I'm going to ask you, please click on my Patreon page. Just a couple of dollars a month, American dollars. I could do a lot more things that would be very funny. Or you can pay me a little bit more money and make me watch Barbara Wong movies over and over and over again. I would hate that, but i do it because you paid me to. Okay, so do us a favor. Click on the doggone thing, please. If you enjoyed this review, please let me know. And if you didn't, let me know. If you enjoy the channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.